Not gonna lie guys, this room is really cold. I want to turn the heat up, but I don't want to spend extra money on heat. A couple weekends ago, I saw Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and uh, now I want to talk about it. I didn't want to make this video too spoilery, but I will be talking about important points in the film. So if you haven't seen it and you want to see it cold, stop watching this video. Let's be honest, I saw this movie mostly because of Matt Smith and Sam Riley. Matt Smith, who of course is the 11th Doctor, all hail. Sam Riley, he was in the excellent vampire movie Byzantium. Most important to me personally, he played Ian Curtis in the Joy Division biopic Control. He was so perfectly tragic, his performance just destroyed me. But back to PPZ. As a fairly militant Austinite who's been historically disinterested in zombies, I was pretty skeptical about this movie. In fact, I've typically had an aversion to all Jane Austen fan fiction, even that legitimized in print. But I was surprised. I actually had a lot of fun watching this. It was really entertaining, it was hysterical. Because Pride and Prejudice is supposed to be a comedy anyway, and adding this absurd layer of zombie apocalypse on top kind of renders it a dark comedy. And it was just fascinating to watch some of my favorite literary characters engage in an action movie narrative. One of the problems I had was that they cast two of the Lannisters in this movie and didn't make good use of them script-wise. They cast freaking Tywin Lannister as Mr. Bennet, and all he really gets to do is narrate the introduction. Also seeing Tywin Lannister be, you know, a nice person really threw me off. Matt Smith was amazing, he was a delight. Because how can the 11th Doctor not rise to the occasion in a movie like this. Sam Riley was this perfect morose Darcy. A lot of critics were saying like, oh, he's too brooding, he's too emo. But it's Darcy in a zombie apocalypse, how else would he be? Admittedly, he has some trouble pulling off some of the characters' more comedic moments. But if you have a character who broods a lot, you cast Sam Riley. Did I mention he played Ian Curtis in Control? I loved how they redid the famous Darcy proposal scene. It was an absolute gem. So Lizzie and Darcy's dynamic in that scene is amazing, but something I thought was weird, they tried to take that sparring dynamic from that scene and apply it to all of Lizzie and Darcy's prior interactions. In the original novel, Lizzie and Darcy always exchange kind of debate-like banter, but it's always in this really polite, civilized context. But the way they did it in this movie was like, you have romantic tension between you, we get it. I did have to keep myself from nitpicking too much in terms of the original Austin plot. What about Lizzie and Darcy's dance? Are we gonna see Pemberley? Are we gonna meet Georgiana Darcy? But you can't do that because that just takes the fun out of it. If you guys notice that the lighting is like radically different, that's because my battery died so I had to recharge it for like two hours. Uh, the explanation of the zombie mythology was a bit rushed, so I had a bit of trouble following the mechanics of this alternate Regency society, and the plot arc felt a bit choppy. I didn't always understand why characters were moving from one place to another, especially towards the end. Something else I found a little problematic about the premise was how every British child gets shipped off to Japan or China to get trained in martial arts, because Britain is still an imperial power, so I would assume that they would have the agency to bring those teachers over to you rather than sending your kids over. I mean, there's this already existing history of bringing teachers and governesses over to you rather than the other way around, right? It's also not like they made a distinction between Japanese and Chinese fighting technique, even though Japan is supposed to be considered more elite somehow. Props to a friend of mine who actually brought that up. And because that's how they introduced martial arts into the premise, that aspect of the setup feels a little out of place and also a bit appropriative. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know how I feel about inserting culture without representing the people. <coughs> Firefly. <coughs> and maybe able to forgive this this time just because I enjoyed this movie so much? Maybe. Maybe. So those are my thoughts on Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. If you have your own thoughts and opinions, feel free to comment below. Also remember to subscribe to my channel. Let's be friends.